I'm going to show you how to make a half inch grid on your photo. So this is what the end result will look like. Really old photo of myself. I've numbered the sides. So this is going to be a half inch grid. So it's going to be exactly half of the paper you just gridded out in inches. So what you'll need for this is your 4x6 photo printed by me, a ruler, and a pencil. Like I said in the last video, I'll be using a Sharpie just so you can see my lines. So what I'm going to do is the same method that I did gridding out my paper. First thing I'm going to do is just measure it, make sure I have the correct dimensions. So this is 6 inches and this is 4. Perfect. So I'm going to line my ruler up flush to that edge and without moving it and without moving my paper, my ruler, I'm going to mark it every half inch. So be sure to mark off where it, the inch mark is too and I'll show you why. Alright, so here I have marked off every half inch. So a common thing I see people do is they line up their ruler. Sorry, this ruler is really big and I really hope you can see here. <laughs> they line up their ruler with the edge and then they only want to mark every half inch, which would be half inch and a half, two and a half, but you have to realize if I were to mark only between half inch and the inch and a half, that's a whole inch of space here. That is too much. We need to mark it for every half inch. So half inch, inch, inch and a half, two, two and a half, three, three and a half, four, four and a half, five, five and a half, and then six is the end. So I'm going to just as I do this, I'm just going to say aloud how I'm doing it. Lining the ruler up with that edge, marking for half inch, one, one and a half, two, two and a half, three, three and a half, and then four is the end. So lining that ruler up again with this edge, half, one, one and a half, two, two and a half, three, three and a half, four. Four and a half, five, five and a half, and six is the end. And half one, one and a half, two, two and a half, three, three and a half. So I have marks on the very edges of all four sides. And then I'm just going to connect those marks that are directly across from one another. Just like we did in the previous video, so I'm going to go up and down, left to right. So I'm going to show you how to do this. So my ruler is slightly underneath both of those dashes that are directly across from one another. I'm loosely gripping my writing utensil. Make sure you connect those dashes. I oftentimes see people going, you know, just aimlessly drawing a line across. If you were to do that, then you may as well have not drawn the dashes. The dashes are your guides. The dashes are there to show you this is a half inch on one side and this is half inch on the other. And if you connect those two dashes, it'll make a straight line. So your end result will be a perfect half inch grid.